All right, welcome back. So we're still working on a 65 Ford build, but today we are gonna be doing exhaust. I was pretty excited about this thing. It's a, a four inch pure diesel power diverter. And you see in there, it's got flaps and then you, you turn it and it closes. So pretty cool little system here, but my plan was to use this up underneath the hood so I could either have the option of an axle dump option or a hood stack option. So the reason for that is, you know, on the long trips and stuff like that, I can shut down the hood stack and just dump it out the back so it isn't as loud and stuff like that. I've tried every way to fit that underneath the hood of this truck and it's just awkward any way you put it in there. So um, it's just not gonna work. All right, exciting day. We're gonna see if we can get this thing running since the body swap. This truck hasn't started since we swapped the motor in. If you guys remember right, we drove the truck in here. So shouldn't be no issues on it running. We got some help here. I got Hannah. She's got the plate just in case the truck happens to run away and I can't shut the truck down. She'll place this piece of metal over the turbo and choke the engine out. So it only has one wire to start it. It's got the hop from the battery going to the starter and then this is going to engage the starter and then I just got to flip the fuel solenoid in the up position and then whenever I'm ready to shut it off I'll flip the solenoid down. So it should start right up. You guys are going to witness it here with us first. So you ready? No. No? <laughs> Alright so solenoid is up. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Take a start. One shot. Yeah. Alright here we go. We're still waiting on the the radiator, the fan shroud and stuff to get back. But once that's in, we are gonna run a hood stack now. We was gonna do the diverter, but like I was saying earlier, the diverter wasn't gonna work out. So it's just gonna have a straight up hood stack. And I, I moved the timeline up. I got over here on my board. I have 33 days to get this thing done for the rod run, but I moved the deadline up to 20 days to make it to Shia Diesel Extravaganza. So. That's three weeks. So we gotta get to it. Got me some four inch pipe, four inch 90s. I got two of them. We're gonna be hooking them up to the turbo and then eventually this will be going up through the hood. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be building this hood stack. All right, there you have it. Six inch hole in the hood. Pretty self-explanatory. Now we gotta get this through. So my piping is done. I got it all welded together. No, this ain't too short. It is a coupler to join the two four inch pieces of pipe together and I had to chop it down because it was too long and it was getting into the bin. So what we're gonna be doing now is putting this heat tape on there or heat wrap. So you guys might be wondering why is the heat wrap in water? I have found out if you put the heat wrap in some water and let it soak, just get it all wet. You can um, stretch it uh, stretch it on this piece of pipe a lot better. When it's dry, yes, it works, but it's a lot more um, user-friendly if you put it in water. So if you ever have to heat wrap something, try it out. It actually works really good. So that's what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna heat wrap this whole uh, stack. The reason we're gonna wrap it is because it'll keep the heat off the battery down and under the hood and stuff like that and plus, it'll look um, a little bit cleaner so you don't see the welds and stuff like that. It'll look more just like a one piece hood. All right, there you have it. It is now wrapped. Got some four inch hose clamps holding it on there. I think it looks pretty good. So see if it shuts. Oh, stupid striker. Anyways, it is shut. There you have it. So now it'll get a six inch stack that bolts to the hood and it'll be a miter cut and that'll slip up in it just to shade just to keep you know just so the smoke ain't underneath the hood at all it's above the hood so 
Next is to get a little plate burned out and weld that to the six inch stack or hood stack and bolt it to the hood. So last week I ordered a crap ton of parts. This ain't all of them. I still got some stuff. So I'm hoping I'm at, I'm at the end road and I don't have to spend as much money on this thing. So in this box here, we got a set of the 10 lug dually simulators, which we are putting 10 lug semi wheels on, but this is the the caps to hide the axle and um, the spike lug nuts and stuff like that. We got here from Shy Diesel, we got a um, Mopar uh, 12 valve Cummins uh, throttle cable. That was uh, $65 I didn't need to spend because I had this cable in the donor truck, but I sold the donor truck and I forgot the stupid cable. So got a new cable, intercooler came in, we're going to put it behind the bumper and it'll you'll be able to see it a little bit, but we'll just tuck it up far as we can and that'll be that. Fuel tank straps, the fuel tank, I got one good fuel tank strap on the truck now. The other one is a ratchet strap, so I want to take care of that. Uh, got the battery trays in and I got a mess, but hood sack. I cut this at like a 65 degree angle. It'll get a plate around this now. And that's that. So that's what I got going on with this. Guys, I think this is gonna be, I'm not saying it's the end of this video, but um, probably we'll, we'll put some stuff more together on this truck yet. And um, honestly, this might, be, this might be it because after I get all this stuff done, the truck's almost done. So this will probably be the last build uh, video on this truck. I still got a, I got the wheel sandblasted but I gotta get them powder coated yet, and my front wheel still ain't done. So I still gotta get them milled and sandblasted and powder coated. I have 15 days to finish this truck now, and um, that'll, that'll get me at Shy Diesel. I also got these uh, bags. We'll be putting them in the, the tires once we get them mounted, but been slaving away pretty decent on, on this thing. Once I get the ignition going, it'll, it'll start by the key. I got the doors getting ready to get lettered. Um, I, yeah, I got a mess. I've been slaving on this thing, trying to get everything in like 15 days. So I have two weeks to finish this truck and I'm taking off this weekend to go do something. So. Okay, so here we are. We're at Shade Tree in Mitchell, Indiana or Mushrocks, whichever one you call it. Um, Dave's a cool guy. He's got a lot of cool old stuff. So hoping to go in here and find us a ignition for our old Ford truck. I really need the bezel. I have the the power side of the ignition, but now I need like the key cylinder and stuff like that. So we're going to rummage through um, Dave's junk here and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the dilemma on the dash and why the ignition is such a pain in the butt. So I did this to myself. When I first got this truck, it had the ignition, it had the bezel and all that, but it didn't have a key. Well, I was excited and I wanted to get it running. So I busted the key cylinder out of it and put a screwdriver in it and I took all this apart. So now it's kind of biting me in the butt because I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I threw it over my left shoulder or what. That's what it's appearing to be. I find it hard for me to believe that I didn't put it on the dash or do something with it, but the truck's been cleaned out and I've misplaced the bezel and the original ignition. Well, the original ignition was in there, but I destroyed it earlier so yeah that's not it i don't know where it went but um anyways the dilemma i'm having yes i can buy like a universal ignition and put in this truck but if i keep this plug on it and plug this into the into it like it was factory then uh, my lights and everything will work like it should so i don't have to rewire the ignition it might have been easier just to rewire the ignition at this point because trying to find this ignition was hard like it don't seem like it'd be that big a deal but it was this ended up being out of a comet a chrysler comet or whatever but um so my plan is to plug that into there well i don't have the bezel so that's what you guys just seen me doing at the junkyard getting the bezel and it's not the right bezel clearly so that goes in there that's an inch hole in the dash normal ignitions like three quarter or something smaller than that so here's the bezel we just got from the junkyard it's not the right one might have to cut it down just to make it look decent and i will show you why it's not the right one look 
Look how much that's sticking out. You shouldn't be able to see those uh, notches in the dash. So this flange really needs to be up against here. So I might be able to cut a little bit off the back and shove it in a little bit further so it don't look so bad. But hey, at least, it, at least I found a nut to hold it there. And if, if that's what's got to get me going for now, that's okay. All right, I gave in. I ended up buying an ignition online from Classic Industries and let's see what we got. So I got the ignition with the key cylinder and I got a set of keys all for $17, but I'm on a deadline and I got it here in two days. So after all, it cost me $60 for this stupid thing right here because no one at a parts store could help me find it. Okay, it's August 22nd at 11.40 p.m. And earlier in this video, you guys heard me say this could possibly be the last build video. That is correct. The truck is 90% done, even though it don't really look like it, but it is. So the wheels are getting sandblasted, or they already got sandblasted by Kevin Prince. I got them back. They look amazing. I sent the wheels to Force Design. They're going to be doing the powder coating and stuff like that. Um, Put our little logo on the side here. I still got to source a floor for the bed. I'm going to do a hardwood floor, but I haven't, I haven't found anything yet. I don't want to go to Lowe's and spend $500 on lumber, so I might go to the Amish. I'm not sure what I'm doing on that yet. Uh, the bed is fastened down. We got some tail lights with built-in reverse lights that work. Uh, the doors are at Paul Hamilton's house. He is doing some lettering and doing the artwork on the doors. Uh, what else we got here? I got this nifty little um, Rough Country multi-light controller here. This is going to be running our fans. Well, it already is running our fans. It's a cool little system. Comes with a harness. So if you ever want to add anything to it, you just attach it here to the back and then it's already wired. So neat little system. Uh, let's see. Hood stack. Batteries are mounted. The fan shroud, Force Design, uh, did that. And both these four tins, the whole shroud comes out. Slick little system. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got power brakes, power steering. It's it's uh, coming along really nice. So I want to show you guys. It does uh, start on its own now. So that's pretty cool. So you go in here. Make sure it's in neutral. And then turn the injection pump on. And start right up. And shut it down simply push that in turn your key off and then what i was saying earlier that rough country system that runs my fans and all that good stuff so that's where we at that's where i'm at on the truck and um so the next video you guys will be getting is this truck headed to shide and cruising down the road hopefully so like i said last build video i really appreciate you guys following along oh one more thing, I got the bumper mounted, used the factory brackets, uh, welded them in, put one by one square tubing to fill in the gap. Intercooler's in it, I still gotta run the piping, but it's coming together nice. So, like I said, thank you guys for following along with this build. Sorry if it got a little boring there, here and there, but I mean, these trucks, it, they kinda go into a boring stage because, I mean, <laughs> that's just how it is. So. I still got to weld the seat in or put some brackets on the seat and weld it in. But overall, it's like I said, 90 percent done. I still got to fill in the, the hole here and fix the rest, but it's still under construction. I'm just excited to be able to have it done. So five days to finish it. I think we got it. I will see you guys on the next one.